What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got a classic one for you. The super fast blowout. I'm gonna show you in a few simple steps how to get the perfect blowout that's long lasting on dry hair. Let's get into it. All right guys, so for any of you that know the type of hair I do, I like it to be quick, I like it to be fast, and I like it to be effective. So I'm gonna show you how to get the blowout but on dry hair. So it's really easy. We're gonna use the Colorwell Raise the Root product to give us all of the volume we need. For me, the blowout never goes out of fashion. It's timeless. And everyone knows that feeling. You walk out the salon, you feel like everyone's looking at you, your hair's bouncing, and you feel on top of the world. So I'm gonna show you how to get that yourself at home in a few simple steps. The first process is about applying product throughout the root. So this raise the root is gonna do a lot of the work for us. So what I'm gonna do is take a section of hair at the front. We're gonna spritz the raise the root all throughout the root area. Now raise the root effectively is almost like scaffolding for hair. It gives the hair a great amount of volume and a great amount of guts, but without making the hair feel sticky or stiff. So this is kind of a cheats way to get in the perfect blowout. So we're gonna take a section at the front. I'm gonna use a large Leandro Limited heat retainer brush. The reason we're using a heat retainer brush is because this is actually gonna hold the heat in the hair and set it into a much more bouncier finish because we've got the metal base. Then we're gonna use the Babyliss hairdryer and just hit it with some heat. The great thing about this hairstyle is because the hair is dry, all we need to do is actually dry the product into the hair, which dries super quick. So add the heat for 10 to 15 seconds, leave the hair to cool, and that's it, job done. All right, so once we've left it in, what I like to do is just then stretch the hair out. It's really simple. All you're gonna do is pull the hair forward. You're pulling the hair forward no matter where your part is, just because it's gonna give you volume, it's gonna elevate the roots off the hair. But we're gonna now smooth the mid lengths and ends out just to give them a bit more of a polished finish. So taking the brush out, we're just gonna smooth the hair all the way, wrap those ends back under, roll the hair up, and leave it to set. Okay, so once we've done that with the brush and we've left it in for a couple of seconds to dry, when you take it out, you should get something that looks a bit like this. So kind of really beautiful, sexy blowout. You get the volume from blow drying it without a part. And what's great about it is you can flip it over from side to side, so you don't have to wear it on one side in particular. It doesn't matter where your part falls, it frames the face perfectly. Now, once you've taken it out, what I like to do, why we blow dry the rest of the hair, is use these Leandro Limited Velcro Rollers. These are a great way of just setting and perfecting the style, actually whilst you're doing the rest of the hair, because it keeps the rest of the hair in place and stops it getting in the way. They're self-grip, so you can just put them in and it sticks into the hair. Leave that to set and then what we're gonna do is repeat what we just did at the front on the next section behind. We're literally gonna work all the way back and then down the sides. So applying the raise the root back at the root and section wise just kind of apply enough, I guess, product to cover that section of hair. I like to use this Leandro Limited brush because not only does it give it a great blowout, I kind of love the end of the brush. It has this little pointy tip so you can take sections of hair. And really, you shouldn't be taking a section any bigger than what the brush is. So just you know, about an inch or two of hair. And then remember, we're gonna lift it up right off the scalp so we get the volume. And then we're gonna wrap those ends under. We're gonna hit it with some heat and then we're gonna smooth out the ends, put in our Velcro roller, job done. Okay, so now the rollers are in at the back. We're gonna apply the product back through the side sections. And remember, you just want to take enough hair that will fit around the brush, and then you're going to literally take your section, elevate it right up in the air, roll it down. Don't worry about the bits that fall away. If they fall away, you can just grab them on the way down, wrap them back around the brush, and then hit it with some heat. Okay, then grab the Velcro roller, slide that in. Don't worry too much about little bits that fall out. You know, we've already given it a blowout, so the hair's looking pretty good. We just want to make sure that if you do put a lot of hair into the roller, what I like to do sometimes is just add a pin and hold it into place. You can put that in underneath just to kind of lock it in so it doesn't go anywhere. Then we're on the last section, job done. All right guys, so all the rollers are in. Because we prepped the hair the way we did with the volumizer at the root, because we secured it with the Velcro rollers, this style, and this particular blow dry is long lasting. There's nothing worse than doing your hair and it all dropping out. So by doing these small little steps, 
It will not only give you a great result instantly, but give you a long lasting result. So for five minutes, you can go and do your makeup, go make yourself a cup of tea, check on the kids, do whatever you gotta do. And then we're gonna take them out and I guess we should see the end result. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. So when you take your roller out, you should have something that looks like this. So at this point, don't worry about brushing the hair out. What you want to do is just let the hair sit and I'm going to show you how to dress it out after. At this point, you put all of your volume in. You don't want to stop putting your fingers through it too much. Just take it out. I'm going to show you a little trick. Okay, guys, so to finish off with, I like to use some of the extra shine spray. This is a great shine spray to give your hair that real sparkle and I actually apply it to the bristles of my Leandro brush. What I like to do then is just take the mid lengths and ends of the hair and just tease the brush through. Now, you don't want to go crazy with brushing it just because, you know, you've already got that volume and bounce, but I do want to just give it a bit more of a polished look. So when you bring the hair forward, you get that gorgeous kind of sexy blowout. You can bring those bangs down, put your middle part back in. So you shake it out and then you should get something that looks a bit like this. Sexy, gorgeous, blowout hair, fresh from the salon, and as you can see, it's got loads of bounce power. What's nice about this particular look is you can flip it over to the side. You don't have to wear it in one particular part. A good blowout should honestly just be effortless. You should be able to put your fingers through. It should feel great. It should feel sexy. And it should have a really nice bounce.